Hey guys, welcome back to the shop today. Um, got some knives coming up that I want to do, and I want to use some farrier's rasps to do them because uh, the teeth, the pattern on them, they just they're appealing to some folks, and uh, I kind of like it as well. So that's what I've decided to use. Uh, now most of you guys know that using scrap steel is a crapshoot. You never really know what you've got, and so it's always smart to try and do a some sort of uh, experimenting with the steel to see how you need to properly heat treat it, if it's even heat treatable. The thing with RAS files is uh, some makers make them out of certain steels, some make them out of different other steels. Some of them are case hardened, some of them are high carbon. Uh, you can have them made from, they'll be made from W2, some 1095. Uh, some folks use 8640 and case harden it. Uh, just, you, you never really know. So the best thing to do is to test the files if you plan to use an old farrier's dress file or any type of file. You need to do what they call like a snap test on it. Um, doing a uh, spark test on it, it can be kind of indicative of what kind of steel it might be, but really getting down to the heat tree aspect of it, you need to really know, it helps to know how you need to quench it, uh, how you need to heat treat it. So the snap test really helps in that aspect. Generally, when I snap test the files, uh, I take the tang and just cut the tang off because I don't use that in a knife anyway. So I'll cut the tang off right there to where it's just a nice square piece of steel at that point, or rectangle. And we'll throw it in the forge, heat it up, flatten it out a little bit, and go through some heat treating cycles, do some normalizing, thermocycling, grain reduction, and quench to see if it hardens and if it does harden, um, what does it harden in? Oil, water, air. Um, and if it does snap, then we'll go on with uh, tempering it and seeing how tough it is and resilient it is after it's taken a temper. So let's get on with that. I've got two files here. One's a Save Edge, made in the USA, and one's a Heller, Red Tang. Uh, red Tangs are generally known for being uh, a 1095 W2-ish type high carbon. So I'm pretty certain that this is gonna be good quality steel here, but we're gonna go through that step anyways. Save Edge, on the other hand, their older ones were made of high carbon. Their new one, newer ones now are case hardened. So this one's a crapshoot. I don't know if it's gonna harden, and if it does, what it's gonna harden in. So we're gonna start with the one that we wanna experiment with first, for sure and see how that one goes. And once we're done with that, then we'll just move on to the red tank, okay? Basically just wanna hammer that out some. All right, to normalize, just get it non-magnetic. It was already at it before I hit the record button, but you wanna get it to the non-magnetic or just over it and let it cool down the uh, air temperature. All right, while well, I've got that piece heating up, I'll explain what I'm doing here. To normalize it, you want to go well over, not, go, not well over, but over non-magnetic and let it cool down the air temperature. Okay, if that's your first time. Then after that becomes thermocycle, the grain reduction cycle. So your first thermocycle is basically like uh, normalizing, but it's pretty much the second normalizing cycle. You take it up past non-magnetic and let it cool. Then you take it up to just add non-magnetic and critical temperature and let it cool. Then for the third cycle, you go up below non-magnetic, it's called a subcritical ideal. It's a dull cherry red and just let it cool from there. Looks like we got a little bit of Martin site conversion, so it's quenched. Let's see if it'll snap. All right, when you're snapping, don't hit it with a hammer. You know, you want it to break, so you know, grab it with some pliers or something and give it a pull. That way, it's controlled. All right, it snapped. Let's look at our grain. Hmm. 
grain looks pretty dang good so that thing took oil harden harden really well in oil all right so we know it's hard now we're going to go ahead and since we know the the grain structure looks nice i'm going to go ahead and temper this thing back with the torch and see how tough it is okay you see how gray the piece is out of the quench the gray is a very good indication that it hardened that's that's when you know you had a good conversion on the molecular level uh, it converts to what's called martensite uh, that is a very good sign when you pull your blade out of the quench and it is gray like that okay that's that's very very good sign now I've went and just cleaned this side up a little bit so whenever I, I can hold it in the tongs and heat this and I can watch my uh, color on here when it gets to the color I want it I'm gonna quench it off then we're gonna throw it in the vise and then we're gonna hit it with a hammer and see how tough it is Got a little blue in that one spot. Oops. But you see it started to... The color's good straw now. We're going to quench it off and test it. See that real nice dark straw? That's what you want. It didn't break, it shot out of the vise. That's why you wear your safety uh, glasses for sure. So it's definitely tough. We're there where we tempered it to straw, it's definitely tough. So I think that file there is gonna make more than one blade. That's gonna be a nice blade, because this thing's about two inches wide. It's, it's wider than your average farrier's grass. So this one works well in oil. We can set that save edge to the side now. Now I'm gonna show you the heller. All right, we're gonna try this heller in the oil first. Um, it's a good possibility that it won't oil harden because like I said, it's normally a 1095 to W2-ish type steel, which is like water's brine quench. But we're gonna try it in oil first. Looks like it hardened. Martin sight. It's a very, very good sign. Oh, it snapped right off there. And the grain is beautiful. Thermocycling worked wonderfully. Okay, so we know it's hard. We are going to now temper it. Nice dark straw, almost purple. See how tough it is. Save the glasses. So it started to bend before it broke. The grain is just phenomenal. I think this is going to do well for some blades. All right. All right, folks. There you have it. Just another tip from Ting. Uh, 
I know a lot of you guys enjoy it, making stuff out of these fairy rafts, you know, so I just I strongly advise you, if you're going to, do some quick testing on it because you want to know if it's even heat treatable before you put all the work into it because uh, I got lucky. I went two for two here, but I've got a stack of about 30 or 40 in there. I could probably pull 15 or 20 of them out easily that won't harden, that are case hardened. So it's, it's a crap shoot and you really should just take the time to do some quick testing. So thankfully these two will work. I should get a couple decent blades out of this one and a decent chef's knife out of this one. Maybe a, a herb chopper or something like that. If there's enough left over, we'll see. But uh, anyways, thanks for checking it out. I hope it helps uh, explain a little more what a snap test means as well. Uh, hope you guys learned something here. And as always, thanks for watching. And we're going to catch you on the next one.